In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the primary column inside of Smartsheet. Now, whenever you create a new sheet, you will be given a primary column that you can see right here. Now, if you notice, that column is bolded and the rest of these columns are not bolded, showing that this is the primary column that has been created. And this column cannot be deleted. You can delete every single one of these other columns, but you cannot delete the primary column. Now, the primary column serves as a place to basically put your information that can't be deleted. And it's also used to reference things such as uh, whenever you do a send request. Um, the other thing is whenever you create primary columns, whenever you make any type of hierarchy or child parent relationships, this will be the column that is collapsed. So if we put, uh, let's say parent here and child here, and then parent here and child here, and let's say uh, that we indent this over, you will see that it goes back to the primary column, even though I selected this here and I outdent and indent, it's going to be shown at the primary column level. So those are some of the things that you want to keep in mind whenever you are using your primary column. You also want to be very descriptive because as I said before, when you do anything like send requests, it's going to use the name of the column. And so if your primary column is a bunch of ones, now let's just go ahead and outdent this. do all these real quick. So if all of these are a bunch of ones, whenever we do send requests, uh, it's going to show a one and that's going to be very confusing. So you typically want to do this, the main name of the task or the main thing that you're using inside of Smartsheet so that when it's referenced, it's easy to understand. Let's take a look at this real quick. So here I have the place and order form sheet uh, template from the solution center. If you want to open that up real quick, you can follow along or you can just watch here. But let's say that we have our sheet here. If we look at the columns, there's a little information box underneath this first column and it says primary column. This is the sheets primary column. So it's telling us here that this PO uh, column that's been created is our primary column and these other ones are not. Let's just imagine for a moment that we didn't want that. Let's say that we wanted the customer name to be the primary column. Well, unfortunately, once you designate information inside of the primary column field, it cannot be changed. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move the information around uh, so that we can put this information. Let's say we wanted to make customer name the primary column. We need to move the information around to place this inside of this column that is the designated primary column here. So let me show you what that looks like. Let's just imagine we want to make customer name the primary column but we can't just turn anything on to say that. We have to get the information over here. So it's a little workaround, but we're gonna click on the column menu and we're gonna hit insert column right. And it's gonna ask us what kind of column would we want. We wanna hit text and number and hit okay. And we're gonna call this PO temp. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow us to paste this information over here and get it out of this column. So I'm gonna click on the first cell and then I'm gonna hit shift and then click this last cell, and that's gonna select everything for me. Now you can right click and you can hit copy, and then go to the first cell, right click and hit paste, and it's gonna paste that information in for us here. Now we can delete out all of this information. So we'll hit shift, select everything, and then I'll just hit the delete button. It'll delete that out for us. And then now we can come over here, select this cell, left click, hold down shift, and select the last cell, and I'll select everything. Same thing again, we can copy this, go to the first cell, right click and hit paste. And now it's put that information into our primary column. So let's just go ahead and move this over a little bit so we can see a little better. Now we don't need this column here anymore. So we'll just click on the three dots and we will hit uh, delete column. And then we'll rename this one. So we'll hit the three dot column menu. We'll hit rename customer name and then hit OK and then we can just rename this to PO. Now this everything for the customer name is now listed as our primary column. So for instance let's say we wanted to indent this information we could select these and hit the indent button. It'll put it under customer name and now we can collapse that 
And this is where we can uh, use the information for our primary column. And then again, if we do any send requests, you can see that the send request would be under this customer names. Maybe if we were using a PO or some kind of numbering system, it might get a little confusing. But here we can see the customer name that we're working with. So basically, uh, that is how you can change the primary column inside of Smartsheet. It's a little bit of a workaround, but it's not too difficult. Just make sure that when you're creating your sheets, you name and designate the column that you want to be primary primary right off the bat so you don't have to go in and do this later on but if you need to there is a way to fix it.